Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my lovelies. Let's kick it off. We're going to look into love reading for all the zodiac signs. We're going to begin here with Scorpio. Scorpio, it is finally Scorpio season. So I want to congratulate all of you guys that are returning of the sun um, and throughout the month of November. So it is Scorpio season. We're beginning with Scorpio here. If you guys are interested in getting any type of our services, spell work, consultations, you can find all of that on the links below description um, on our Shopify store. So here we go. Let's get into it. We have a lot of videos coming through for you guys, as well as a lot of exciting um communication with the spirit box uh if you guys have been following our spooky season paranormal series that we're doing for this month of october we're not going to end of course in october <laughs> so let's get into it you guys can also expect spell work coming through for you guys for protection as well as abundance making sure that you guys kick off the new year at full force all right, let's get into it. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Allow us to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love. Give me three cards to represent new love, three cards to represent their old flame for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Exciting times. We just experienced the eclipse, uh, which is major very transformational for many signs actually for all the signs depending where you had um depending where you had your placements at all right so here we go let's get it scorpio all right we're starting off here with the king of swords the sun card and the hanged man. This is in regards to new love. So how they're seeing you, they're seeing you a little bit guarded, Scorpio. Um, very nonchalant. I feel like uh, this person may be a little bit intimidated by you. However, they are uh, definitely in their feels about you. They're wanting to pursue or wanting to see where this can go. Their future actions is the hanged man next to this, um, next to the sun. I feel like there's going to be a shift or a change in this connection for some of you guys. Uh, this could be now, this could be in the month of November where things start to change or they start to progress, uh, not necessarily negative in a positive way, but I feel that there is some type of transformation that happens here. So it could be that they potentially start to see you in a different way, or perhaps you start to open up to them where they genuinely get to know a deeper side to you that perhaps you don't necessarily allow many uh, to get that close. And I do feel that there is some type of transformation that happens here. Now, in regards to the old flame or the X, we have the Knight of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Wheel of Fortune. If you guys are looking for some type of reconciliation, I do see the reconciliation happening they are showing me here that there are still feelings, that there is still some energetic ties connected here. And with the judgment and the wheel of fortune, I feel like you will be making the decision um, to allow them to get closer to you or to give it another go. With the wheel of fortune, I do feel like for those of you guys that are genuinely trying to reconcile and you know without a doubt that this person still has feelings for you, it's going to change the whole trajectory of this connection. I feel like for some of you guys, there was time uh, that was needed in order for you guys to kind of go on your own separate ways and, and figure out things about life or where you want to go in life. And I feel like this uh, necessity is definitely the change because I do see them coming back around and I do see that there is a completely different type of energy here. There is an elevation. There is a maturity. There is a wanting to grow together. So 
again, if they if you are looking for re reconciliation, I definitely do see that. Now, for those of you guys that are definitely not wanting to get back, I feel like this person has a lot of remorse or has a lot of unresolved feelings, especially because they're starting to hear, see, or find out that you're doing great or that you are blooming right now, Scorpio. And if you don't feel like this is uh, necessarily your situation right now, throughout the coming weeks, things are going to start to change in your life where there is a lot of unexpected surprises. And for some of you guys, it could be that you either find yourself in a relationship or in some type of deep connection. And um, the ex-partner will definitely find out about that. And I feel like that's where their unresolved issues start to come up. But again, that's their issues to figure out. <laughs> that's their work to do, not yours, Scorpio. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. What can Sagittarius expect for the next coming weeks? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. New love and old flame. All right, here we go, Saggies. We have the death card, we have the queen of pentacles, and we have the page of wands. Now, for those of you guys that are just dealing with someone new, uh, they're definitely seeing you very different, uh, very different to what they're accustomed to. There's definitely a transformation here. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're jumping from one, to, as an example, um, you could have been knowing this person, or perhaps this person is even in your friend group. And there is almost like a stepping out of that uh, to be able to get closer to you. So again, if you guys are, for those of you Scorpios out there that are single and not really dealing with anyone right now, I feel like someone will definitely come through, but I feel like they're already in your energy. So this could be someone from your friend group. Uh, this could be someone that is introduced to you through friends. Um, someone that's definitely kept their eye on you for a bit uh, before deciding, before actually taking the move. If you are dealing with someone, I feel like there is a transformation that takes on. Uh, if you felt like there was stagnation or no movement, that's quickly going to be changing and it's going to stabilize, not only stabilize, but it's actually going to have major potential for something long-term. Um, why do I say that? Because with the queen of pentacles, it's there is a transformation that's happening, a transformation that will ultimately solidify or become something stable. With the page of wands here in regards to their future actions, they're taking their concerns or their worries, throwing them out the window, and they are moving forward towards you. So that is very positive here, Saji. All right, in regards to the old flame, we have the nine of wands, seven of swords, and the 10 of wands. So in regards to how they're feeling about you, they feel reserved. Uh, they feel like for some of you guys, uh, they could be watching you from a distance or asking even friends. And I feel like sometime this month, you're going to be hearing about them um, by a friend. So it could be a friend that comes to you and tells you, hey, they were asking about you or they made a comment about you uh, or whatnot. And the reason why they're doing this is because they're trying to rattle you. Uh, they're trying to get in your head, Sagittarius. So if you're completely done and finito with the situation, uh, do not pay no minds. I feel like it has more to do with them lacking the having to take self-responsibility of why this relationship ended. And though they may make it seem like they're strong or like they're doing great or they're moving on, the 10 of wands tells us otherwise. It tells us that they're having a difficult time right now. Uh, for some of them, they may be dealing with the consequences of lying, cheating, and deceiving. So move on from that, Sagittarius. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month or the remaining month of October going into November. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. If you guys like these readings, like, share, and comment, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. All right, Cappies, let's see what's going on with you guys. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, new love, and old flame. All right, here we go. 
All right, Capricorn, we have the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Hermit. Okay, if you were dealing with someone and all of a sudden they kind of ghosted you or kind of pulled away, there's a lot that's going on right now with them. Uh, I feel like for some of them, the this past eclipse that we experience is really shaking up their world. It could be that they are overburdened or they have a lot of responsibilities and worries to deal with right now. And they're actually seeking some type of isolation. So again, um, I wouldn't necessarily tell you to uh, close the door on this Capricorn. I just feel like there is a lot of transformation, a lot of life lessons that they're currently going through. So do not be surprised if they feel like, even if you're dealing with them right now and they feel like they're not always present when they're around you, it's because they really do have a lot of uh, a lot of burdens and a lot of responsibilities that they're currently going through. They may not speak about it, but that's exactly what's going on. I don't feel like it has anything to do with any type of third parties or them talking to other people. It has more to do with life in general. All right. And in regards to the old flame or person from your past Capricorn, we have the eight of wands, the four of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. So I definitely see them coming back around or trying to contact. That's if they haven't already. Um, but the reason why they're doing this is because they're very aware of your value, Capricorn. Something happened to them recently where they're feeling like they understand your value or your worthiness or the type of person that you are is something that is not necessarily very easily found. And I feel that that's what's bringing them back around. It's almost as if what I'm hearing is I'd rather have Capricorn as a friend than not have them at all. Um, so again, I feel more so that the ball is in your court if you want to allow them to come back into your life or not. Um, but I do feel strongly like there is almost something changing in the way that they are appreciating you. Perhaps in the past, they didn't appreciate you or they took you for granted. I feel like that's changing. I don't want you to rush into feeling that you guys should give it a go. Um, I feel like this is something that they just, you know, it's an aha moment for them, uh, not necessarily for you. If this relationship brought you some type of lesson, Capricorn, take that lesson and keep it pushing. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to new love and old flame. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. All right, here we go. Aquarius, we have the Hermit, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the King of Swords. So how they're seeing you, they're seeing you a bit reserved, Aquarius. They're seeing you a bit mysterious. I feel like there's a heavy energy of like mysteriousness that they're really trying to get to know um, without realizing that you just, you just like to keep people like not that close <laughs> from a distance. Um, I feel like they're the hype, that's what I'm hearing, the hype is more so because they find you mysterious. Um, how they feel about you, they're definitely excited about wanting to pursue this, wanting to move forward. And I do see communication still flowing. I see communication still happening. However, I do feel like I need to warn you. Oftentimes when people find you mysterious, which is a good thing, um, but it's not a good thing all the time. Why? Because they start to have or create fantasies in their head. And then they start to put you in this type of pedestal where they see you as an enigma. And the moment that they realize or find out or get to know you, um, there could be some type of disillusionment there. Why? Because it's like the expectations were so high. And I feel not for them, but for you, it could be a bit frustrating or irritating. So just be mindful of that. All right. Now, in regards to your old flame, Aquarius, we have the sun card, we have the five of cups, and we have the queen of wands. So I'm definitely seeing that there is a wanting to revisit this connection for some of you guys. If they were the ones that messed up or they were the ones that walked away from this situation, I feel like there is remorse and there is a desire to want to rekindle or want to reconnect. 
Um, and I do see them actually making communication or moving towards some type of communication here with the Queen of Wands. Um, I feel like it's deliberate communication. So if you haven't heard from your ex and all of a sudden you hear from them, just know that when you hear from them, it took them a while to actually get there. Um, I feel like they were very prideful or pride was in the way. And this is something that has been methodically thought out before actually reaching out. So it's not spur of the moment type of thing. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with you, Pisces. All right, your first card here is the Four of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so for some of you guys, communication could have ended. Or for others, a uh, relationship perhaps recently, you guys broke it off um, or decided to go your own separate ways. I feel like for some of you guys, you're dealing with someone that it they are literally emotionally unavailable. And do not try to chase this. Pisces, do not try to, you know, think that you're going to be the one to change them. Um, I feel like this is something that they've been carrying or dragging for quite a while. Um, and another thing that I'm hearing for you, Pisces, is also know your worth. Uh, know what you bring to the table. Know that a person as loyal and committed as you do, do not come easily. Um, there is something almost like a recurring cycle that's happening here right now. Uh, with a lot of you Pisceans out there about self-value and self-worth. So again, um, if you are currently, as an example, you're currently been dealing with someone, all of a sudden they fall off or they ghost you. Don't try to communicate. Don't reach out. If they're not making you a priority, it's because they're purposely putting you way in back of the line. And you should know that you deserve better than that. For others of you, you've recently started dealing with someone. And they're not necessarily treating you the way you know you should be treated. Don't give them the benefit of the doubt right now with the Tower and the Five of Pentacles. The lesson here for you Pisceans out there is to know your worth. You will settle with what you think you deserve. So if you know you deserve better than the way you're being treated, walk away from that. Don't, don't allow people to think that they can walk all over you. All right, moving on to past relationship or the old flame there's definitely still feelings here there's feelings involved I see someone very desperate um so if you guys are hoping to have some type of reconciliation with the ex-partner or something like that I definitely see that probability happening but I want to tell you something and this is food for thought for a lot of you guys out there even if you are cross-watching if you find yourself that you're having difficulty or struggling with being alone or being single. What this means um, is that you don't know how to be happy and content with yourself. And if you cannot be happy and content with yourself, you are not whole like to want to find someone that is going to fill the void that you feel within yourself because you don't know how to be or survive being alone. And this is a lesson that you need to learn. Why am I saying this? Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, you will be tempted to reconcile or go back to an ex-lover. Not to say that that ex-lover doesn't have feelings for you. We do have the nine of cups and the ace of cups. So there is love there. But what is it uh, beneficial for you to be with someone that loves you when you don't feel the same? You just don't like to be by yourself or you don't like to be alone. Um, it's almost like a, a self-internalizing type of, you know, evolving that needs to happen with you, Pisces, to learn that all the happiness and all the love and all the caring uh, that you're seeking out into the world, you have within yourself. And it starts with self. It starts with ourselves. So how you treat yourself, how you allow other people to treat you, how you love yourself, how you make yourself a priority 
is only a mirror or a reflection that you will be teaching those that come towards you or that are emotionally invested in you. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on here with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Aries. We have the Knight of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Four of Cups. I feel like you're dealing with a person that loves attention, but they are not necessarily the type to last a very long time. What do I mean by that? It's almost giving me the vibe of you're dating someone that is so much like you, Aries. Um, this could be very frustrating for you. However, I feel like there is not really a lot of progress in this connection. The Four of Cups indicates to me that they are either entertaining other possibilities or um, they're searching for something um, that they don't even know what they're searching for. So it's kind of like, you know, giving the opportunity to whoever gives them the attention only for self-gratification, temporary or superficial gratification. I would just keep it moving in this situation, Aries. Now, in regards to the old flame or person from the past, we have the nine of wands, king of wands, and the full card. So there is definitely, they've been going through it. They've been going through it for a bit. I feel like this person is still very much in their feelings about you. Uh, they're hoping or wanting for some type of reconciliation. And I do feel them actually taking um, some steps towards you. I feel more so in the month of November, you'll be hearing from them. Um, but again, I feel like it has more to do with the fact that, you know, it wasn't great or it's not great to be single. That's how they're feeling. Um, so perhaps when they were dealing with you, they could have potentially had more opportunities or options. But I feel like at this point, they are realizing that it's not as great as they thought it would be. So they're coming back around. My advice is close the door on that. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Here we go. All right, Taurus, we have the Hanged Man, we have the Death card, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. All right. So for a lot of you guys, there is a Piscean energy that's coming through for others of you. Scorpio energy is coming through. Um, for others of you, I feel like there has been a major shakeup in your love life with this uh, eclipse we just experienced. Things are going to be changing and your love life, it's almost like it's uh, recently got a shock, <laughs> came back to life. Things are going to be moving in a very positive way. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there was always this feeling of sadness or a lot of nostalgia that you guys have been dealing with, but that's quickly going to be dissipating. Again, with the, few, with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like things are going to go in the upswing for you guys. There's major transformation that's happening here. If you are currently dealing with someone, um, and when I say recently, I'm talking about perhaps a month, a little bit less than a month. Uh, this is quickly going to be moving towards something much more stable. Um, I feel like this person came into your life, not because of coincidence, but more so destiny is kicking in right now. For a lot of you singles out there, your destiny is being highlighted here. So there is major transformation. Think or just remember um, people that start to come into your life or people that you start to deal with uh, in the next coming weeks. It's not coincidental. It has more to do with uh, destiny kind of putting both of you guys in the path um, of a journey that you guys must take together. I feel like there is a lot of, you know, lessons that you're going to be dealing with um, with this partner that's coming in. And it's not in a negative way. It has a lot to do with knowing your self-worth, learning to feel sexy again or desirable. All right, moving on. In regards to your old flame or ex-partner, we have the world card, page of wands, and the knight of cups. I feel like they've come to the conclusion of understanding that you were the best thing that happened to them, Taurus. 
there is almost this, you know, facade or this desire of wanting to make things seem more than they are. Like they're happier, they're having that happy life. However, a page of wands and the Knight of Cups tells me that there is still hope or desire that you would, you know, that you would entertain um, or even be open to some type of communication with them. I feel like they still have feelings for you and they don't really know what to do with that. Um, and I think that for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been like broken up or separated for quite a while, I feel that the reason why they feel like they don't know what to do with that is because it's kind of their karma. You know what I mean? Like they've kind of did what they did and now they have to deal with the fact that they are aware that they still have feelings for you. Maybe they've gotten accustomed to you being single. Maybe they were moving on and they were okay with the fact that you didn't have a partner, but that's quickly going to be changing. And I feel like change is not going to be good for them. Good for you though. <laughs> All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Gemini's. Gemini's sun, moon, rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Gemini's sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Gemini's out there. All right, here we go, Gemini. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Three of Wands and we have the Tower. Oh, wow. All right, Gemini, there's major transformation that's happening here. For a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been very hard at work or perhaps, um, you know, trying the best you can to move on without really getting out of your comfort zone, that's not, that's not going to be the case no more. Uh, this eclipse is bringing a major shakeup to you. For some of you guys, there is almost this desire of wanting to take better care of yourselves. Um, there could be potentially some new uh, transformation that happens on the physical aspect. So for some of you guys, it could be that you start working out. Uh, for others of you, that there is a makeover that's coming or that you will think it's spontaneous, but not really. Uh, it's uh, the planet alignments that are pushing you to regenerate yourself, to revamp yourself. Um, when we're talking about relationships and new partners, I do feel like you're going to be uh, drastically being more outgoing, or even if you're not, you're going to be pushed to do so, Gemini. I feel that there is a connection that's coming for a lot of you guys that is going to happen very unexpected. So this is the scenario where someone invites you somewhere you don't want to go and you end up going, kind of dragging your feet, and then boom, you meet a person uh, that is meant to be in your life. So that's the type of situation that I'm seeing. For those of you guys that are currently dealing with someone, communication is great. Moving forward is like making plans. The tower is here and the tower is a major transformation. So for some of you, even those of you guys that are single, that feel like you're not necessarily dealing with anyone, a friend or someone close to you may come out of the blue and profess their feelings for you. That is going to create a, a major shakeup in your life. But I feel that it's going to be for the positive because you may actually find out that you have feelings for this person as well. So it's kind of like um, being around someone all the time and enjoying each other's company and being great with each other, but not realizing that there are some romantic feelings involved. That's the kind of scenario I'm seeing for a lot of you guys out there. All right, moving on to Old Flame or Past Lover. We have the Five of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. Gemini, move on from this situation. Um, I see you guys romanticizing about the past or how it used to be. And what Spirit is saying is you need to pour all that love and all that desire, all the wants that you have, um, pour it into yourself, start valuing yourself, start taking care of yourself. Even if, you know, you're not necessarily the type to be all dolled up once in a while, it's okay to do that. Why? Because that's how you take care of yourself. That's the energy that you're vibrating and it's almost like a, a a shake that needs to happen. Like someone needs to literally shake you and be like, hey, Gemini, um, it's time you start taking care of yourself, whether it's emotional, physical, or on a spiritual level. Um, let go of any attachments to the past. I feel like for a lot of you guys, especially if a person walked out of your life or ghosted you, they will be coming back around. 
But the reason why they're doing that is because they were done what they did to you. So it could be potentially that they become single because someone left them or because they just didn't want to be with them anymore or because they ghosted them. And because they find themselves alone, they start coming back around and trying to make communication. You're not an option. Remember that. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I had to think about that for a bit, Cancer. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with cancers. All right. If you guys like these readings, like, share, and comment, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. All right, Cancer, we have the strength card here. We have the six of cups and we have the two of wands. There's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of desire. Uh, I definitely see a lot of lust around this situation. The positive in this is that with the six of cups, this is telling me that there is a genuine connection or a genuine interest in getting to know you. So I feel that the person you may be dealing with, things are going great and they're going to potentially continue to evolve, continue to grow. Two of Wands tells me that there is plans for the future. So um, I don't be surprised if your partner all of a sudden wants to get take you on a getaway or wants to make plans for the holidays. You know, Thanksgiving is coming up. Um, Christmas is coming up. It starts to integrate you in their life. When they do this, just know that they are definitely uh, making plans for the future with you. So very positive, positive here. All right, moving on in regards to your past lover or person from your past. I feel that there are still some unresolved issues here. Uh, for some of you guys, you may be hearing some type of rumors or people coming around trying to tell you information about the partner from the past. Don't get into that muddy mud. Walk away from that, you know, let it go. Don't take things personal right now. I feel like this person hasn't moved on from you and they could be very aggressive in their communication or maybe even trying to drag your name. Like I said, don't take it personal. If I was you, I wouldn't even bother with that type of shit, to be honest, because at the end of the day, it speaks more about them than it does about you. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. All right. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords and we have the Queen of Wands. Okay. So for some of you guys, you could be feeling like you caught the partner or person you were dealing with in a lie or you're starting to question and wonder what their true intentions are with the 10 of swords. I feel like you'll be the one to make the decision either to walk away or for others of you, especially those of you guys that are not currently dealing with anyone, you're realizing that you've came to, you've come to the conclusion of realizing that a lot of the dating or a lot of your romance or lack thereof has a lot to do with self-responsibility has a lot to do with like not really pushing yourself or putting yourself out there. Queen of Wands tells me that you become more empowered or you become more uh, taking self-responsibility and deciding basically grabbing the bull by its horns. I feel like you're coming out of a cycle where there is a lot of uncertainties in regards to what you were wanting or expecting from a relationship. And I feel like you come out of it with a clear perception of what it is that you want, knowing without a doubt, almost being unapologetic about it, um, even if it comes at the cost or expense of what they thought you were. So what I mean by that is almost like if they seen you in a certain way and you start to allow them to get closer, they start to see things very differently or as an example, if you got into something and you're like, hey, let it be casual and see where it goes, you start to have more direction and you speak about that or you're not going to be hesitant about asking for what you want or what you're expecting. Whether they're able to provide that or not, you're going to be very nonchalant about it and be like, well, there's the door. <laughs> um, so I feel like ultimately this is a very positive thing because you become much more empowered and you're dating with purpose. 
moving on here into your ex-partner or person of interest from the past. We have the three of cups, four of wands, and 10 of wands. There is almost this feeling of some type of celebration or perhaps they've been hearing that you're moving on or you're partying or you're being more social and it's creating a bit of burdensome or worry to them. Could be that they were perhaps accustomed to thinking that you were single or that you've been single for quite a while. For others of you, they could have thought that they were the ones that had the options when there is quickly um, this energy of either hearing or finding out that you're blooming or that you're doing great or that you are moving on something that perhaps they weren't expecting. Um, so I definitely see them feeling a bit stressed or worried. I don't see any communication or any type of reaching out. I do feel I'm gonna be honest, this is giving me like green envy of just jealousy um, because of of either you're moving on or you're starting to be more social, you're putting yourself out there and they didn't think or they didn't expect you to move on so quickly. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Virgos. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. All right, here we go, Virgo. We have the page of pentacles, the judgment card, and the two of pentacles. I feel like you were very quick to make a decision about this person, Virgo. For some of you guys, you kind of fantasized about them or put them in a pedestal. That's quickly going to be changing. It's almost like they are very inconsistent with you or they are very nonchalant. Um, perhaps you thought there was more to it, but they're, they're not that special, Virgo. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like they're just inconsistent because they're not as interested. So my advice would be just to keep it pushing. Um, why do I say that? Because I feel like you're hopeful and you're hoping that things are going to turn around or you're hoping that, you know, maybe there's more to them. No, there isn't. Sometimes there isn't more to people. And I feel like the quicker you know that, the less time you're going to waste. Um, because if you continue to put effort in this situation, they're just going to be wasting your time, Virgo. All right, moving on to person from the past. We have the six of wands, the seven of pentacles and the ace of swords. Okay, so I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, they're aware that they effed up. They're aware that they messed up, that they lost or missed out on a good person. There's a wanting to reconnect. I see them very nostalgic. I do feel that they will be reaching out to you in the next coming week or so. Um, but I feel like when they do reach out to you, Virgo, just know that they've been like mulling over reaching out to you for quite a while. I feel that this person has a tendency of like being very prideful or very egocentric, but I feel like they really can't take it anymore. They can't hold it or they can't, you know, keep pretending like they don't care and they're reaching out. For some, it could be because they're scared that you're moving on. For others, they're just taking the action because they've been thinking about this for quite a while. So the ball is in your court, Virgo. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Let's see what's going on with my Libras. All right. All right, Libra, in regards to new love, you have the King of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Six of Cups. This is a beautiful type of connection. I feel like it's going to get a little bit deeper this month uh, for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been kind of like, you know, giving them the opportunity to come through or to open up to you. Um, I still feel like you were kind of keeping an arm's length, but I feel like it gets deeper or this connection uh, starts to become much more authentic, more genuine especially for those of you guys that felt like sometimes uh, carrying a conversation with this person, it almost felt a little bit forced. I feel that they were just not really comfortable. They weren't, you know, allowing themselves to just go with the flow. But I feel like as time progresses, this connection is going to get a bit deeper. I do see the promise for uh, something much more stable. 
this is giving me totally friendship vibes. So again, I always tell you guys when it comes to romance and relationships, um, it is a beautiful thing when you find in your partner, a friend, why? Because they're not judgmental, they're accepting. And that is very, very empowering. Um, so beautiful energy here. Moving on to your old flame, we have the devil card here, the eight of swords and the high priestess. All right, Libra, I'm going to be honest. If you guys have been feeling lately, like you're constantly thinking of your partner from the past, um, all of a sudden they're popping into your head, or for some of you guys, even dreaming about them could be sexual in nature. My advice is do yourself a cutting of cords, uh, do yourself a cleansing, do yourself a um, cutting of cords, really. The reason I say this is the devil, eight of swords and the high priestess magic could be behind this or spell work could be behind this. Um, it's almost like it's very difficult for you to move on or release from this connection. Um, for some of you guys, it could have been that even perhaps you did something uh, in this connection, not necessarily recently, but um, I feel like this is, it has you stuck in this energy in the stagnant energy because of outside interference, meaning things that are out of this nature, like spell work, witchcraft, that type of thing. So my advice is do a cutting of cords. Uh, if it was you, the one that did this, uh, to try to reconcile or to try to draw them closer, what you actually did was create stagnation. Um, so they're not able to move on and you're not able to move on. So it's a mess of stagnation that's happening here. Again, do yourself a favor and do yourself a cutting of cords. Um, I don't see progress. I don't see communication. I just feel like, you know, being obsessed with wanting to work it out at some point um, in the past created a lot of toxicity. And that's something that you need to release yourself from so that you can be able to move on and so that they can be able to move on um, in the most organic way possible. All right, my lovelies. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. I want to wish you guys happy Hollows Eve. I hope you guys have an awesome time. Be safe out there and I will see you guys soon. Till then. Bye.